So the Fourier trial was the first cardiovascular outcome study with a PCSK9 inhibitor. Uh, and uh, this was presented and published earlier this year in the New England Journal of Medicine, where over 27,000 patients with stable cardiovascular disease were randomized to the PCSK9 inhibitor evolocumab or placebo and followed for a median of 2.2 years. And the, the main findings were that evolocumab reduced cardiovascular events significantly compared to placebo, achieved low LDL, on average uh, 30 milligrams per deciliter, so about three quarters of a millimole per liter, and uh, uh, did that with a good uh, uh, tolerability and excellent safety profile. No major safety adverse events were increased compared to placebo uh, with evolocumab. Yeah, so we have some new findings from the FOIA trial being presented at ESC 2017, and these include an analysis of uh, stroke. Uh, and that comes kind of in two flavors. One is uh, Terhe Peterson is uh, presenting uh, data on patients with a history of stroke who uh, were eligible for the trial. And it turns out that those patients did quite well. They had a uh, significant benefit to evolocumab, again with no excess in safety events. And uh, Professor Peterson's also looking into uh, stroke as an outcome. And what we found there was that across the board, evolocumab reduced all types of, and severities of stroke from those that were uh, minor and the patient fully recovered uh, through those that were severely disabling and even fatal strokes were reduced with evolocumab. So that's one of the new uh, things we have here at ESC 2017 from Foyer. The uh, treatment arm in Foyer, the group uh, receiving evolocumab, had an average LDL, as I mentioned, about 30 milligrams per deciliter, so roughly three quarters of a millimole per liter. Uh, however, uh, the, the interquartile range went down as low as a half a millimole per liter, so less than 20 milligrams per deciliter. And in an analysis I'm presenting here at ESC, we looked at outcomes, both efficacy and safety, according to the achieved LDL at week four. Uh, and uh, patients who achieved a low LDL, even those that got below half a millimole per liter, less than 20, and we even have 504 patients who got down uh, to half that level, so less than 10 milligrams per deciliter or less than 0.26 millimoles per liter, they did fine. They had no excess and safety events compared to those patients who were at higher LDLs, and the efficacy was even better. So we like to say with regard to LDL, from what we learned in the FOIA trial, lowest is best. The lower you can get the LDL, the better the cardiovascular outcomes, the lower the event rates, with no price being paid in safety.